The Autodesk solution allows you to use a digital markup strategy. In this case, I've got a drawing with a title block. I'm plotting it to DWF. That stands for Design Web Format. In this case, I'm saving the DWF to my desktop. DWF's a lot like PDF. When the file's finished printing, I can then open it in Design Review. This is how the engineer would open it. He could then review the drawing. The reviewing is very easy because the, the panning and zooming is just like it is on the AutoCAD platform. So we're panning around, reviewing the document, and then we've got a series of tools in the ribbon. Same, same workflow. I'm going to just take a quick measurement of the lane here. We can see that's 12 foot wide. Maybe I'd like to verify the width of the shoulder. Do a quick measurement on that. I can see that's 8 feet. When I'm finished, I could leave the measurements in or I could delete them. In this case, that's what I'm doing. If I pan the drawing over, maybe I'd like to add a note for the uh, CAD technician. I'll just open up the text tool, very intuitive uh, tool set that we have, and I'll, I'll take in and add a note. We can change the text heights, we can change the colors if we want to. After I add that note, I can zoom out, we'll pan the drawing over, and maybe I've got a more specific change. I'd like to change this item number in this case. I'm going to strike a line across that to show that it needs to be changed, and then I'll add another text box, and I'll, I'll type in the, the item number that we should be using. After I'm finished, notice that we can move the text around if we want to. When we're all finished making changes to the DWF, we would then save this. And as soon as I save it, I just want to show you on the markup tab there, all of those markups I created are, are displaying in that list. We'll then close Design Review, and then we can come back to Civil 3D. Here, we'll open up the Markup Set Manager palette. From here, we can open up that DWF markup. And on the palette, if I expand the layout that we plotted, you can see the same markups here. If you double click on a markup, it'll take you right to that location in the drawing. I can see there's the line and there's the text that I added. They both uh, coincide with the same markup. I'm going to quickly jump into the viewport here and change the item number to what it should be. And then after I make the change, I can right click on the markup and I can change the status. In this case, I'm going to choose Done. I also have a couple of other options. I can uh, say for review or I can say I have a question. Let me double click the box culvert note and I'll say that I have a question on this one. You can see the icon change there. When I'm finished editing or doing the markups, I can then republish the markup sheets. This, this allows us to have a, a completely paperless workflow if we want and I'm maintaining all of the records. So I'm printing this to DWF again. I'll view the plotted file so this is where the engineer can open up the uh, the DWF, he sees the markup list, he sees what's been uh, taken care of. If he double clicks, he can view the changes, you know, verify the changes, and he can review any questions that the uh, tech may have had.